Numbers are essential in modern life. We use different types of numbers for different purposes. The dates on this calendar are natural numbers. Natural numbers, forming one of the most basic sets, are the counting numbers. The number one followed by two, three, four, five, and so on. We use them for just that, counting things. For any natural number, there's always a greater one. Just add one. Include zero in the set, and it becomes the set of whole numbers. You need whole numbers when you need to know when you have none of what you're counting. Integers are all whole numbers and their negatives. You need the negatives if you want to account for how much less of something you have than you need or expect, such as one less serving of food than the number of people. For integers, not only can you always find a greater one than any you choose, you also can always find a lesser one. Just subtract one. So what about the numbers in between, like fractions or decimals? They've got plenty of uses. When it comes to baking, the ultimate sweet treat, donuts are often on the top of the list. And none are more popular than the classic glazed. When making the perfect glaze, culinary experts use rational numbers to make sure they have the correct ratio of ingredients. The ratio of milk to sugar is 1 to 8. One part milk to every eight parts powdered sugar. You can write this as the rational number 1 over 8. A rational number is any number that can be expressed as a ratio of integers, a fraction in which the numerator and denominator are both integers. For example, one half is a rational number, so is two thirds, five eighths, seven sixteenths, but the denominator can never be zero. You can also say that any integer is a rational number because you can think of it as a ratio of integers, itself over one. 4 can be written as 4 over 1, or as 8 over 2, or even as 64 over 16. There are an infinite number of ways to write any rational number. Decimals that can be converted to fractions are rational numbers too, such as 1.75, which is the same as 7 over 4. For rational numbers, as for integers, you can always find greater or lesser ones than any number you choose. In addition, you can always find a rational number between any two you choose. Just take their average. If you think about it, it's quite rational.